Hey dolls! Okay, uh, who is excited for this video? I haven't made a My Little Pony video on my channel in quite a while and that's just because I got kind of lost and didn't really know what to film next. Uh, you guys know I love, love My Little Pony. I have a whole playlist on my channel about why I love My Little Pony and different like tutorials on taking care of the like My Little Pony dolls. Uh, G3 is my favorite but but uh, this video is all about G4 because the new My Little Pony movie is going to be coming out on October 6th to theaters and Pure Cosmetics has come out with My Little Pony the movie makeup. So you guys know I had to get my hands on this. I had to do a full review on this for you guys because I myself am an avid My Little Pony lover and I know a lot of the people who watch my channel are too. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and review some of the makeup items for you guys. So I'm going to be doing this video cave or save style and you guys know that I have a playlist on my channel dedicated to uh, makeup products or just items in general that I have spent my own personal money on. I'm just letting you guys know my opinion from my experiences and whether you should cave in and buy the product for yourself is it really that good or should you save your money and move on and just wait till something you're a little bit more interested in comes out and I have my main six little homies back here we got Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Twilight Sparkle, and Applejack and then this little uh, Pinkie Pie dress I think I got at Target a million years ago in the little girl section in case you were curious I got the palette I got the three little highlighter sticks and I got one of the glitter lip toppers. So I guess let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys the highlighter sticks and the lip topper first. I am wearing the makeup on my face today, but anyway, let me zoom you guys in so you can see the products a little bit better. And I wanted to show you guys the packaging for these items, uh, the packaging for the uh, lip topper looks like this it has all of the main six on the back as well as spike which I am very appreciative of and then the box for the little highlighters looks like so it's just got that hollow My Little Pony movie logo on the front with the pure logo and then on the back it has rainbow dash with again some more hollow effects and then it shows you examples of the three shades included just like so so that is what the three little bundle comes in and then the main attraction what everyone really wants to know is it pigmented does it blend well is it good what are your opinions what are your thoughts the palette this is the packaging so it looks very similar to this one and it also has that flying rainbow dash on the back and it lists all of the colors in a cute little hearts all on the back of the packaging as well. Um, I am going to mention this right now. I don't believe any of these products are vegan. Uh, I'm going to say that right now. I knew that was a reason a lot of people didn't invest in this palette, including some of my fellow pony friends, some of my Pega sisters. They did not invest in this palette because it is not vegan. I think it's animal cruelty free. Yeah, it's cruelty free, but it is not vegan. So keep that in mind. Just throwing that out there. And I think these, the little highlights are also cruelty free. Not sure if they're vegan or not. Check the website. Um, and then the little lip topper is cruelty free but again I'm not sure if it is vegan or not okay so I only did get one of the lip toppers because I knew that it was going to act more as a lip gloss type feel than anything and you guys know I'm not really a fan of lip glosses so this one is in the shade rainbow dash and it is the blue one and it is kind of like an iridescent it's got iridescent glitter in it, it has a nice doe foot applicator um, it smells really good. I know a lot of people don't really talk about scent when it comes to makeup, but um, this one kind of smells sweet, kind of like a vanilla-y in a way. It kind of smells like a lip smacker, lip balm or something, which is very pleasant for me. I quite like that, uh, but it goes on very nicely. I do feel 
that it's pretty tacky. It's not like a very smooth lip gloss by any means. Uh, it definitely is somewhat tacky and I feel like after a certain amount of time it kind of just like fades away. Like some of the glitter stays behind but for the most part like it dries up pretty quick. So that's one of the only complaints I really have about this. Um, and then the little highlighters. It came in a set of three for I believe $22 and I think each of the little lipstick toppers was $16 a piece and the palette was $29 but it came with a set of three the shades are joyful blissful and cheerful so this is what the packaging looks like on them it's pretty um, just white and plain it does have the cutie marks on here just like with the little lip topper it has the cutie marks in a holographic foil on the caps so joyful is a white one that actually comes off as like a purple pinky sheen to it which is actually quite pretty and then we have cheerful which is the pink one that gives kind of like a greenish sheen to it a greenish kind of aqua sheen very very pretty and then the last one we have is blissful which is blue but it also comes off more kind of pinky or bronzish in a way um, I love to layer these on top of my eyeshadows and you can also put these on your cheeks as a highlighter or you can also top your lips with them. I will say right now they are very drying. They dry very nicely so putting them on your lips kind of sucks because it's going to pull all the moisture out of your lips and it's just going to dry kind of cakey but if you were to use this as a highlight on your cheeks like I have today or even on your eyes as like a shadow it works really nicely because it dries fairly well and you won't have uh, like excessive creasing on your eyelids which is awesome one thing I definitely appreciate about these little guys is that they do twist up you do not have to have a jumbo sharpener to sharpen these at all whatsoever they just twist up and then so once they start going dull you just twist up the bottom like you would a lipstick and you're good to go you can use more product so I do like that. I don't know if you could get these each individually off the site. Uh, like I said, I got the kit that came with all three and I am not displeased. And I will give you guys a little insight right here. Um, I washed my hands after doing swatches of these the first night that I got them. Look at that shine. You can even see from that far away. They're so pretty. Um, I did swatches and like all of the glitter was left over on my hand just from washing my hands but from using them on my face and on my lips and on my eyes when I use an oil-based makeup remover wipe and wipe them away they come right off so if you do have that excess glitter that maybe you don't want left behind which I always do so I don't know why any other human being on the face of the planet wouldn't but you know maybe that's just me if you don't want that excess glitter you can easily take an oil based makeup remover and get it off um, you can also just use like coconut oil that'll take it off very easily as well so yes these are great I love them they're highly pigmented they go on so smooth and I just apply them like on my cheeks I'll just draw on and then like blend out with my finger and then same exact thing with my eyelids I'll just kind of like tap it on with the pencil or draw it on and then just kind of blend it around with my fingers so they're very very easy to use you don't have to have any special brushes or um, applicators or anything like that you can literally use them like a crayon on your face and I love that so here is what the actual palette itself looks like out of the packaging it's just a sleek white and it's not like a flimsy cardboard material it's actually got some sturdiness to it which I appreciate uh, you open it up it's got a cute little mirror at the top with a little heart and the pure logo the little paper just slipped out but here is the paper that is in it it says hashtag my little pony movie or my yeah my little pony movie and it has Twilight Sparkle as an alley corn right there which you can see but it has the actual names of the shades stamped in underneath each of the shades on the palette itself so mainly this little thing you just toss in the trash typically anyway unless you don't want to get like fallout all over your makeup bag or something but here is 
the palette and mind you I have used this so you might see a couple um, wear marks or dents and dings in some of the shades uh, but that is what they look like and I'm gonna go ahead and read the shades to you um, from the top to the bottom left to right uh, the first one is this beautiful yellow which is in the shade kindness then we have this beautiful pink sparkly one, which is the shade Fluttershy, which is my favorite G4 pony in case anyone was wondering. Uh, then we have Generosity, which is the brown one. And then we have Rarity, which is the stark white one on the very, very end. Okay, then down here we have Applejack. And then we have Honesty. We have Laughter and of course, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie is my other home girl. Like, we're twins. Look at us. We're twinning with our manes. Um, I love Pinkie Pie so much. I haven't dipped into that shade yet, so I'm very anxious. I did swatch it, but I haven't actually put it on my face or on my eyeballs yet. Please don't put shadow on your eyeballs. That is not a good thing. Okay, and then we have Twilight Sparkle is this kind of lighter pink one right here. I wish it was more of a lavender shade. I feel like it's really similar to the Fluttershy shade up here. They're both kind of just like variations of the same sparkly pink. I feel like they should have done it a little bit more on the purple side of things, but it's still cute. Then we have Magic, which is this dark purple. Rainbow Dash, of course, which is the sparkly blue. And then Loyalty, which is this forest sparkly green shade. And when I say sparkly, I mean more like shimmery when it comes to the palette because it, they don't have like legit big sparkle chunks in them. It's just kind of shimmery. Then on the bottom, we have the Tempest Shadow, which is dark red. Then we have Songbird Serenade, which is kind of more of a coffee deep brown with some shimmer in it then we have storm king which is more on the kind of grayish side of the spectrum and then we have princess sky star which is this minty color at the very bottom so overall what i can tell you guys about the pigment the wearability the blending it out the smell it doesn't really smell like anything it smells more like the packaging than anything else. It doesn't have a weird, like, cosmetic smell to it by any means. Um, I would have to say my favorite shades so far that I've used are Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, and Princess Sky Star. Those are my three favorites that I've used so far. But again, I want to play this palette some more. I want to get more use out of it and just play around with all of the colors. I want to use this green one, maybe even mixed with the pink. Like I feel maybe those will blend kind of in a cool way. Um, but overall, overall, just the formula in itself, I feel like they're kind of chalky. When you're applying them on your eyelids, uh, they, it takes a lot to build them up and you oftentimes have to use some sort of setting spray or like a MAC Fix Plus or something in order to, or you can even get your brush kind of damp with just a little spritz of water. But overall, it's kind of a pain in the butt to build up the product on your lids. Um, as far as blending, I feel like they blended very, very nicely. Um, and I felt like these went over the shadows very nicely. It didn't like mud up or cake up or anything. They kind of went together very well. The two individual formulas weren't really fighting each other and just not wanting to work together, which is something I very much appreciate. For a palette that is around $30 and you get 16 shades, that's a pretty decent deal, but you're not going to get like these are not by any means like buttery smooth formula or anything this is not like a Too Faced eyeshadow palette okay this is not high high quality this is good for the price range i feel like honestly you're kind of paying more for the fact that it's my little pony than the quality of the eyeshadows themselves but it's not something that i'm just gonna throw to the side and just have it as a collectible item. I'm actually going to wear these shadows and try to, you know, work with them and blend them out and just make them, make them work just as best as I can, as best as to my ability. And like I said, they do blend fairly well. It just takes quite a bit to build them up. And like these darker shades, 
you don't have to do much with them for the pigment you don't have to do much at all whatsoever they blend really nicely and they go on immediately but like the lighter shades like the twilight sparkle and the fluttershy and maybe even like the laughter one you kind of have to build them up especially this princess sky star mint one i did that under on my lower lash line and you can see like it's so light i had to this is like four three or four layers of that shadow like built up it would not built up with just like a dry brush so keep that in mind you might want to get some a little water in a spray bottle to spray your brush with one thing that I am going to complain about I'm going to be that person and complain that yes it's cute that the packaging has the characters on it I'm appreciative of that I love that but honestly this is cardboard this is getting thrown away like I'm gonna that's just it's 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 recyclable I'm just gonna throw that away whereas where are their faces where where are where's Fluttershy where's Pinkie Pie where's Ray where are the faces on the actual products like I'm a little butthurt about this because Rainbow Dash should have Rainbow Dash on the packaging somewhere to differentiate that it is specifically Rainbow Dash and at first I thought to myself well maybe they don't have the rights to the artwork maybe it's copyrighted material or trademark material and they cannot produce that but it's on the packaging so why can't it be on the actual product like they've already stamped the movie logo there what harm would it be to put the main six on the front of the palette like I bought this because it was My Little Pony. Where are the My Little Ponies? Like, I'm so sad. Like, they could have done so much more creatively with this than just a plain, basic, blah palette with no ponies on it. Like, come on, Pure. Come on, what are you doing? If you're gonna do... This goes for any brand, okay? If you're going to do makeup based around a certain brand, you better stamp it all over it. 90% of the people who are buying this palette like My Little Pony and know what My Little Pony is. So what is the harm going to be in putting actual characters on the product themselves? But honestly, you guys, I was so let down when I found out the actual packaging itself like of the palette didn't have like the ponies at all like they could have even it would have cost more I understand that it would have cost more to produce and everything like that but they could have like stamped in the ponies faces on each of the shadows or just like a couple of them like here and there and done just like little hearts on all the other ones like they could have oh my gosh they could have done so much more with this and as for the actual look of it I'm highly disappointed and I know that it would have cost more to produce but spike it up a couple 20 bucks <laughs> like if it costs more to produce then charge people more to buy it you know what I mean like I just I, I miss my pony friends I miss that I can't look at their faces and feel all happy because you guys know me my room is filled with my little pony okay like seeing their bright colors and their faces make me really happy and sparkly inside and when i'm doing my makeup in the morning and i'm not seeing cute little pony faces right here around the little border or whatever i get sad again and that's not good that is not good you should have more ponies in your life i'm also just a little bit salty that they didn't pick me as one of their brand ambassadors just like low-key i'm a little bit salty about it but i mean i'm a nobody compared to some people who are promoting this brand i'm a nobody so i understand but at the same time who knows my little pony i love their main ambassador that they have for this line in particular i love her i follow her on instagram i watch her youtube videos but at the same time it's like <sighs> pick me too like <laughs> that's my dream I want to promote my little pony makeup but at the same time in a way they probably wouldn't like that I was dissing the fact that there's no ponies on here so do I really want to represent something that's so blah maybe not maybe not I'm a little I'm a little salty but then again I'm just like it's okay 
it wasn't that great anyway. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys have the My Little Pony makeup? Do you have the palette? Do you have the lip glosses? Do you have the highlighters? Let me know in the comment section down below which one you have or which one you were thinking about getting. Would you cave in and buy this palette now that you've heard my honest review? Would you cave in and purchase this for yourself? possibly or would you choose to save your money and just wait for something else cool to come out for you to spend your money on let me know save or cave in the comment section down below and with that being said i will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye